Today we are going to talk about how stems and roots help a plant. Remember, in the last video we talked about how leaves help the plant. Stems and roots are major plant organs. They have special structures and jobs to perform. Stems, like leaves, are plant organs. Leaves are attached to stems. Many stems hold leaves high. Why do you think this is helpful? Plants need light to make food. The higher leaves are less likely to be shaded by their neighbors than lower leaves. Stems also hold fruit and flowers on plants. The two tissues that form the stems are called xylem and phloem. Xylem tissue are tubes that carry materials from the roots to the leaves. The roots of plants soak up water from the soil. The water carries particles called minerals from the soil. Cells need minerals in some of their activities, including photosynthesis. This, these minerals are carried to the leaves through the xylem tissue. Here are examples of xylem tissue. If you are, were to put celery into a vase with food colored water, you would be able to see that the food coloring or the water is flowing up the xylem to the leaves and then coloring the leaves in turn. The phloem tissue are tubes that carry sugar away from the leaves. The sugar in plants is dissolved in water. This mixture of sugar water flows through the phloem from the leaves to the rest of the plants. In trees, phloem is made just below the bark. When new phloem cells form and grow, they push old, dead phloem outward. The dead phloem makes up the bark. Bark protects the phloem behind it. Phloem goes down. We are next going to talk about different kinds of stems. Some are woody and some are non-woody. Woody stems have lots of xylem tissue carrying food and nutrients up the stems. Trees and shrubs have woody stems. The, cell, the wood of conifers, such as pine trees, is softwood. The wood of trees with broad leaves is harder. Pea plants and dandelions are examples of plants that have non-woody stems. Their stems have much less xylem tissue. Here's a graphic organizer of what I just said. And here's a cross-section view of a woody stem and a non-woody stem. As you can see, the xylem is much wider in a woody stem and less wide in a non-woody stem. Now we're going to talk about the functions of roots. Roots anchor plants and hold it in place. Some roots in some plants store food and they absorb water from the soil and the water enters through the root hairs. There are two kinds of root systems. Each has different structures. One kind of root system is a tap root. A tap root is a large root that grows straight down. It remains the largest root structure as the plant grows. Tap roots may store food for the plant. Small roots may grow sideways out of the main tap root. Another root system is a fibrous root system. In this system, many roots grow out in all directions. The roots divide many times into smaller and smaller and smaller roots. The fibrous root of a tree sometimes look like, looks like an upside down version of the above ground branches. Roots grow longer because of special tissues near the root tip. Here, cells divide quickly to form new cells. As each of these new cells grow longer, to, together they push the root tip farther into the ground. 